Can I turn this way this time? Okay. Good? Yep. All right. There's something incredibly special about realizing like a dream in your heart and like realizing that the Lord has like put that dream in your heart and then chasing after that dream with your best friends. And I feel like that's that's kind of like what we've been in the midst of. We've we've seen these dreams that have been put in our hearts and we've surrendered them back to God. We've we put them at the foot of the cross and we've said, God, we know that you gave us these dreams, but these are yours. And when you do that, I things get crazy. Like you it becomes something so much bigger than you, bigger than your community, bigger than anything you ever could have thought up or dreamed on your own. So the making of this album was definitely a process, um, but in the midst of the good, the bad, the ugly, the Lord was there. And he, he met us with kindness throughout the entire process. And like, of course, for anyone that lives in community, you know that naturally when you're in close relationships with one another, your junk comes out. And I, we had some low places during this process, but we were able to, to encourage one another and pick one another up. And really like the Lord just like met us with kindness in those low places, in those tough places with one another, with ourselves, just dealing with our own issues. And we were just gently reminded of how weak we really are. Like none of this would work unless the Lord, His hand was on it. And the Lord continually reminded us of that. And we were just able to see that our weakness is truly perfected in the strength of God. And and we don't we don't want to do anything without it. The Lord is, has been continually teaching us just to be faithful with what we have, to bring our loaves and fishes. And so this is what we have. We'll be releasing these songs and, and I believe in each one of them because I know where they come from.